Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to this new lecture and in this lecture we will uh, be going through the SNMP setup on the Palo Alto firewall and uh, we'll slightly um, I mean do a brush up of the SNMP what it really is and all. Now have you ever wondered how IT teams monitor thousands of devices without manually checking each one? Now for that you will have to meet the SNMP which is the silent guardian of network management in this video we will break down what SNMP really is how it works behind the scenes why every network engineer needs to understand it and special tips for Palo Alto firewall okay before that I have this uh, uh, I mean handout ready for you guys so I'll explain I'll use this uh, PDF and then I will attach this in the resource to be downloaded uh, but uh, I mean I will uh, utilize this as a source to explain some of the basics uh, of the SNMP right now I want you to imagine uh, that it's 3 a.m. and your Palo Alto firewall suddenly hits 100 percent CPU now without SNMP you would only find out when users start screaming and today I will show you how to configure SNMP monitoring so you get alerts before outages happen okay so what is an SNMP right SNMP stands for simple network management protocol and is a standard protocol for monitoring network devices like routers firewalls and switches and also collect uh, the uh, performance data yeah so it can it can pull the data or even the devices can send the traps to the manager I will tell you the components that are um, that are part of the SNMP uh, architecture and then receiving event event notifications and also managing configurations but this is limited okay so the core components that I was talking about are these right you have uh, something called the manager which collects or organizes the data which in our case is power SNMP and you can also have PRTG and other industry standard tools then is the agent which runs on monitored devices for example the pan os in our case it is running an snmp services and also switches and routers also do that then there is something called the mib which is the data structure dictionary uh, for panorama you have the uh, for pan os we have the pan common mib then you have the oid which is the identifier unique data identifier this is something like this and for one of the uh, data we have like the sys name the code will be like this the id would be like this and we will see if we can see this in our uh, lab demo as well now for the versions that uh, snmp has it has three versions and uh, the first one is the snmp version one um, uh, security wise it has no encryption uh, and uh, uh, it's very weak, weak uh, no authentication obviously and it's a legacy system um, commonly used on legacy system which does not support either 2 or 3 version 2 or 3 right then you have the version 2 C which is uh, using uh, as part of the security accountability string which is again not uh, that much secure because it does not have the authentication and encryption this is most commonly used but nowadays SNMP version 3 is the uh, go-to standard because this contains uh, security uh, in, in with respect to encryption and authentication okay, user based encryption and secure environments. Now with this diagram I want you to understand the key operations. So if you have the manager um, which is going to be any monitoring tool like PRTG or SNMP uh, this uh, manager so that is going to send uh, either the get request or the set request in case there is configuration obviously a set request in case there is uh, something that you need to pull from the agent you will send a get request even the agent can obviously send a response and also a trap for example saying um, that my CPU utilization went, went 100 percent right so this is something the agent can also uh, initiate the traffic too. Now, uh, 
with respect to this um, as i said get request for example cpu usage you can also send the get request from the manager then you have the palo alto specific key ids oids right you have, for system you have this um, id for the interfaces you have this id and this is the common one for the pan common mib like typical monitoring points would be session count you can monitor the cpu and the memory usage interface traffic thread locks etc based on the uh, the uh, what do you say uh, whatever your organization has standard set for the monitoring now uh, as part of the security best practices uh, you should always use um, snmp version 3 in production you should change the default community string which is mostly public in our uh Palo, uh, sorry palo alto uh you will see this as public we will change it to something else because everybody knows that this is public it's like keeping your uh, uh, admin password on a sticky node right so also implement uh acls for the manager's ip and disable the right access unless required if you go to quick references enabling the snmp uh using the uh the cli you have this option we will go through the GUI as well show SNMP MIB walk view the MIBs and then the trust trap is debug SMP trap send okay uh, okay uh, in case you want to deploy this in production so first you should deploy this in a lab and test it all right so that was the uh, explanation of the SNMP now we'll go through the step by step process uh, how to uh, implement this on the on on the uh, palo alto firewall before that about the port and protocols right what port it uses you need to know uh, so it uses two protocols one is udp 161 and one is udp 162 okay regarding to the uh, ports and protocols that it is using so it is using udp and using 161 and 162 port numbers now this is where the agent is listening to the agent listens and this is where the manager receives trap all right in other words in other words the the manager is going to manager is going to uh, initiate using any initiate initiate using uh, using port udp port udp port 161 all right and the agent is going to send the traps agent is sending the traps using the udp port 162 udp 162 so this is how uh, uh, you need to enable these two ports if you have any firewall in between right if you have a firewall between your device which is going to be again a firewall and then the the manager which is going to be any monitoring device any monitoring software in our case it's the free tool you might have prtg so wherever this prtg server is you should allow the 161 and 162 uh, protocol here udp right so make sure you have that enabled and let's go and see this in action all right so first thing you need to do is you need to go to the device and then in operations device setup operations you have the snmp settings let's configure this here we are going to use the version 2 even you have version 3 if you want but i am going to use version 2 only so this uh, is what you have to specify as the physical location of uh, of your uh, device so in my case let's say this is my um, palo alto firewall us1 i can mention like this and then the string right snmp string so this i will change my secret string now if you have a space in between it is go not going to work i mean it will work but then remember 
if you specify this space that means you have to make sure that um, i mean normally who, no one would do but if you're doing it intentionally you have to keep it there on the other side as well so i'll not keep this so this is my secret string click ok so this is the uh, enabling the uh, the SNMP from this side you can do this through the CLI as well once that is done now next is to uh, set up the SNMP trap which is under the server profile remember we went to the syslog uh, and created the syslog profiles here like that you will have to create a SNMP trap here now you specify the name of the server profile let's say this is my SNMP uh, server like this and this is v2 name uh, again snmp let's say server okay snmp manager which is going to be myself and then the community but community is my secret string my secret string right and this is going to be the ip 192.168.1. this is going to be 13 which is my ip config if i do this is on my 31 so from my Palo Alto, I should be able to ping this 31. Okay, so if I go here, exit ping host 192.168.1.31, yes, I am able to reach the SNMP server. So from my Palo Alto, this is my 31. All right, so that's all what I have to keep as the setting let me check again so let me keep this as uh, caps even i can specify a version 3 as well if you see here you can add all those details right so that is something you can also do there now once you have this then also you have to go to the mm, log settings remember we have specified the log settings now if if i go to my so i'll open the free snmp manager here power snmp free manager here so i can add the agent here i'll click on this and right click add the agent i have to specify the ip address okay and this is going to be the palo alto which is 192 168 or something or you can say find let's say and this is my my the red string all right add the agent okay here i have to add the agent sorry i was doing it here community string again anyways i have to change the community string obviously to match and this is 192 168 1 .31 is the address uh agent is basically my palo alto and this is my 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 secret string and then okay and this is going to be version 2 you can also add an agent with version 3 with all these uh, authentication here right with the secure which is more secure mm, so click on okay mm. and once you have this you should see the uh, traps received from the palo alto but before that you have to configure the uh, wait a second this thing which is not coming up right now i don't know it seems something's uh, wrong here uh, the the palo alto firewall has crashed so let me just reboot and come back again Okay, so once you have the SNMP traps done, we will go to the log settings. Uh, and in the previous uh, syslog uh, tutorial, uh, we uh, you saw that we have configured this for the syslog. Now we can have this for the system. This is for configuration. Now we'll add another one. Let's say this is for uh, SNMP system. SNMP system, something like that. We can specify and then uh, you have all logs then you can add the snmp profile here this one uh, that's all like that we will also create it for configuration let's say snmp 
config like this and then we'll add the profile here snmp server this thing, profile here and click on ok and after that you would have to also go to network and in under the maintenance make sure this snmp is enabled so i'll click on that and okay because we are having the snmp communication on our management now i'll go ahead and commit the changes at the same time i'll go and keep on monitoring my snmp manager right if i able to see uh, if i'm able to see any um, uh, messages here let's see all right as soon as you see this is almost completed so i am able to see the snmp messages here trap messages now if i see here double click on this i should see the system image and this is the or oh, the id uid unique identifier right and i can see the pavm this is my system name and this is the identifier for that particular um data yeah and um, yeah this is system log now you can see what else okay i'll go to the next one this also is a system log general yeah so uh, if i do any changes also it should come here, up here because i have done config changes for example i'll go to my device let me um what do you say create an admin okay admin this is zuby uh, description um, admin user like that and auth profile uh, none because this is a local username i'll create the password okay and then i'm gonna keep this as a super user okay and click ok done and i'm going to commit this once i commit this i should see more uh, logs here mm committed job process to okay this is the old one i guess yeah commit admin uh, who is the okay i done i have done a commit and who was the user admin web submitted like that i should see yeah again commit job all right so i'm able to see all the snmp traps here system and config logs uh, yeah so i have lots of things now here right so if i go here again system so somewhere i should see a config one because i just now configured a um a user okay so this is how you configure the snmp server on your um, palo alto device and um that's all for this video and uh, i would uh, and hope you learned something new in this uh, lecture i will see you in the next lecture till then take care bye bye